voters is posting this form on the concealed carry law. This is the second in a series of four public education forums. Public education is one of the mission of the League, and the purpose is to learn, uh, the purpose of the forum tonight is to learn about the new concealed carry law. We are not having a debate about whether or not the law should have been passed, but the focus is on how does the law impact us as citizens of this community. Um, hello? Yeah. If, there, if there is time for questions at the end, the uh, League of Women Voters has solicited questions from our membership, and those have been given to our moderator, and if the moderator chooses, he will uh, select questions that were given to him in advance, if time allows. Our next public education forum is on February 5th at Rockford University, and it's regarding the impact of the voting rights law after the Supreme Court case. And speaking of voting, if you're not registered to vote, we have voter registrars here tonight who would be happy to register you, or if you've changed your name or moved, they can update that information for you as well. The League of Women Voters is honored tonight to have Judge Dan Doyle serve as our moderator. Uh, Judge Doyle started his career as an FBI agent, he then served as Winnebago County State's Attorney, and he was also an appellate court judge. In my opinion, having seen him perform in the legal follies, he is also a very talented singer. <laughs> we are honored to have Judge Doyle with us tonight. Don't expect me to do a soft shoe up here. Well, it's a great turnout. And, uh, cool November evening, and I'm sure you'll find that in about two more months, this weather will seem balmy. Now it's a little chilly. Uh, just a, some ground rules at the beginning. Uh, I'm sure there are a number of you here who would like to ask a question or would like to make a statement, and I wish we could entertain individual statements, but uh, I think you can see by the size of this group that if we proceeded along those lines, it would be here probably long after my bedtime. So uh, we're asking that uh, you abide by the rules and let me try to fill in a few questions that I think some of you might uh, want to ask. We have a great panel. Uh, the panel consists of three very experienced persons in this area. First of all, uh, to my right is Mark Walsh. Mark is the campaign director for the Illinois Council Against Handgun Violence. He is um, responsible for advocacy uh, of uh, reasonable gun laws. He's uh, had over 20 years experience in uh, public advocacy issues, and he's worked in the state and local government and uh, governmental politics. He has his bachelor's degree from Milliken University. The, to his right is uh, someone who has one of the more difficult jobs in this community. I'm sure it's a lot more difficult than it was when I did it many years ago. Joe Briscott. Joe is the uh, Winnebago County State's Attorney. He's done this for over the last five years. Uh, probably seems longer. At times. He was City Attorney in uh, Rockford before he became State's Attorney for uh, eight years. He was an attorney in private practice for seven years and uh, was also the director of the Rockford Regional Office of the Illinois Attorney General. Uh, he earned his uh, bachelor's degree and law degree from Marquette uh, University in Milwaukee. How's this coming across? Are people in the back if we hear anything? Okay? Good. No. No, <laughs> not good. 
Well, I'll, I'll do my best and we'll ask the panelists to keep their voices up as best they can. Um, <clears throat> next is Paul Kane. Paul uh, on the end is the uh, professor of law at NIU Law School. He specializes in teaching juvenile justice matters. He's been affiliated with the Z. Georgie Legal Clinic. We're very glad to have him. Well, Mark, uh, I'm really glad you're here tonight because I, in preparation for this, I read most of the law. And the more I read, I became convinced and very concerned that uh, I might go blind. <laughs> this is, I don't know if any of you have tried to read this law, but uh, we're fortunate to have someone here to help us. So, uh, Mark, this is your opportunity uh, to uh, take about 150 pages of lawyer babble and condense it into a 20 minute uh, presentation. I'll tell you I'm doing that. Oh, I'll, 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 I